with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. Welcome back, everyone. Still a lot of clouds. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but there have been some periods of sunshine from time to time, and it's just a sign that now the dry air beginning to take over. So whether it's Harrisburg, Lebanon, York, Lancaster, all checking in with gray skies, but temperatures are elevated compared to the last two days. In fact, we're close to 60 degrees at the majority of our sites, except for the Country Club of York there at 53. Here's our rain totals today. So we've added on a little bit of rain, a couple hundreds for some of us, maybe a tenth in our highest locations, but by and large, things are gradually improving as this low kicks out to sea. Temperatures low 60s in Lancaster and in Chambersburg, but only 56 at HIA, 56 at Fort Indian Town Gap as well. Here's a look at Doppler radar. Flow directly out of the north now. So instead of more of an easterly fetch, it's more out of the north, and that's allowing for more of this dry air to move in. But we do have one decent shower out there. It's south of 81 and covering parts of 322 and 422 in southern and central Lebanon County. Let's show you our forecast for the rest of the day. Shower chances relatively small. They are out there, but most of these clouds not producing rain, just kind of locking in the dampness. And then later tonight, changing to mostly clear skies, leading to more sunshine tomorrow. We've been waiting for it. It's finally happening. This area of high pressure, it's been on the map the last several days. Now it gets to take charge of our weather. Now there's enough force to kick what's left of Ian out to sea, at least farther away from the mid-state and allow for more sunshine, more typical October weather. So let's show you precision cast through the rest of tonight. Clouds do linger on, that is for sure. By tomorrow morning, areas of fog. I don't think we'll see any showers, though. Still can't quite shake that dampness in the air, but overall into Thursday, the rest of the day, featuring a lot of sunshine. But as soon as that sun arrives, more clouds Thursday night into Friday. I don't think Friday brings us a shower threat. It's more the cool air that waits behind the next front. So there's a, another front coming on through. So any temperature boost we get tomorrow starts to fade heading into Friday and the weekend. Let's show you the winds again out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That continues through the day tomorrow. More out of the northwest, though, approaching Friday and that front. So let's summarize this in the seven-day forecast. Things looking up temperature-wise, looking up in terms of sunshine, but then we start to fall back. Saturday and Sunday, temperatures upper 50s to low 60s. More sunshine, though, Taylor. So while last weekend featured nonstop clouds and rain, this weekend's going to be much brighter. All right, and let's just enjoy tomorrow uh, exactly. while it's here. Exactly. All right, thanks, Dan. Stay with us. We'll be right back.